Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I'm working on a Lenovo laptop computer and I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if your computer is just suddenly powering down and restarting seemingly for no reason while you're using it. Um, keep in mind this is only for while you're using the computer. Um, if you're going to start your computer and right away at startup before you get to that logo screen, if your computer shuts down, that's a different problem. Go below in the description, that's the my computer won't turn on fix. If your computer progresses from that point, you see the logo, and then it starts in this boot loop where it shuts down and restarts, that's a boot loop fix video in the description. And if your computer is turning off because it's overheating and you can feel your, your computer and it's hot to the touch, well then we already know what the problem is, your computer is overheating. So in that case, look in the description for the My Computer is Overheating Fix video. This is just for a computer that's shutting down and restarting while in use. So the first thing you want to do here is go down here to the File Explorer. We're going to open up that. It's your little manila envelope icon on, on your bar. And that opens this page up. When you get here, you want to go to this PC and you want to right click on it. Click on Manage. Then we're going to drop down the menu for Event Viewer. And then drop down the menu for Windows Logs. And then double click on System. Now don't be afraid if this populates a massive list with lots of errors and warnings. Um, computer functions have warnings and errors all the time and the vast majority of the time they're handled automatically with nothing really going wrong. So what we're looking for is an error that coincides the date and time when your computer shut off. So the normal stuff is just listed as information, the yellow icons are warnings, you're looking for a red icon that says error. Now this is a brand new version of Windows, it hasn't been running that long so I'm probably not going to see any errors. I'm going to click on a warning just for the sake of, of an example. So if that was an error, I would click on it and then down here you, you see the details come up. And under the details, hopefully that tells you what's going on. In this one it says the application specific permission settings do not grant blah 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 blah. It's, it's, it's all garbly gook, it doesn't mean anything to you. Um, so if that happens, I'll show you how to figure out what's going on. If it is clear on what it says, uh, such as sudden power loss or battery failure, CPU failure, then you know what's going wrong, you know how to fix it. Um, if it doesn't, if it's not clear, this is what you do. See down here it says event ID with an ID number, in our case 116. I'm going to take that number, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go to my browser, and you guessed it, I'm going to Google it. Event ID 116. Oops, I didn't type it right, but it still got me there. Uh, so right here, support Microsoft.com. That's what we want straight from Microsoft. We'll click on that. And this is what you're looking for. This is Microsoft's write-up on this error. So here, right up, up top, it gives you the symptoms of what's going on which we already know the symptom, your computer shutting down. And this is what you want, the cause and the workaround. Um, the cause will tell you what's happening to make your computer shut down. The workaround will tell you how to fix it. So just as an example of how this can be helpful is I had a computer a while ago that shut down on me seemingly for no reason and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I came into here, I got my ID because I couldn't understand what it was saying. It wasn't clear and under cause, it told me that my computer was shutting down because a recent RAM upgrade was starving my CPU of power. And the workaround, it said to undo the RAM upgrade or to set the CPU to low power mode, which I chose to do that. Uh, so I got to keep my RAM upgrade, my CPU still worked, and my computer didn't shut down anymore. So that's how you would use the cause and workaround as an example to fix what's happening with your computer. So if you had any questions on this, if you saw something, um, or if you're seeing something on your computer or in here that, that is not clear to you, or if you don't find an error online, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll, I'll help you get through whatever's happening to your computer. Um, like and share if this is helpful. Enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.